Hey everyone, Shaber1000 here. Today I'm just going to do a little vlogging. Talk to you about a couple things, about some upcoming videos. What's been going on, stuff like that. But I'm going to do it while I'm working on this carburetor, this old uh, Simplicity tractor. You guys might remember, I put a new carburetor on. It leaked. I got another carburetor and the uh, throttle butterfly was jammed. So I'm going to try to take those two and build one. Also, the one that's on here, the first one, it's got this uh, anti backfire valve. Here, what that is is fuel shut off. So as soon as you turn the key off, these things take a second you know they don't shut off like a car does just just stop what what it does is they keep spinning for a second it, especially if you shut them down wide open you know boom, 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 boom. well while it's doing that it's still sucking gas in and when it's doing that it's throwing unburnt fuel into the hot exhaust and if you ever notice your lawnmower garden tractor whatever when you shut it off after a couple seconds it'll go bang that's what it is this is stuck open sometimes if it doesn't start it's stuck closed it won't let fuel in these can get pricey sometimes so if they're expensive if you don't mind a backfire you just cut that off cut that top piece off right there it's fine um, so all right, I'm just going to point you down here. The lighting's not that great, but I got to be in the shade. I'm in the shade, and it's still like 90 right now, so I'm sweating. So just bear with me. It's really not about this. It's just about what I've been doing, what's going to be going on here, you know, the future of the channel, what's going to go. No, just kidding. Don't you hate when people do that? What's the future of this channel? Well, you're either going to keep making videos or you're not. <laughs> I'm gonna keep making videos. <laughs> so, I'm gonna put your feet lowered here a little bit. Like I said, no intros, just kind of like a vlog thing. Can you see that? It's not, like I said, it's not really a how to, but, uh, I just get you in here a little bit here. There you go. All right. So I'm going to unplug this. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this this piece off. We're going to try to see why why it was leaking. And I know this is bad because the other one quit working. Probably because all the gas leaked on it, shorted it out. It's just an electromagnet in there is all it is. When you put power to this thing, it pulls it down. When the power goes away, pops it up, shuts the fuel off. Now well, we can see a little bit better. Looks like it's getting moisture in there. Alright, so take this. Uh, so like I said, these things will spin on here and trick you. You think they're coming out when they're not. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting on uh, get a little extra money. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put a new head on the. Uh, might hope if I go the right way on the. Uh, 
think there was any gas in there. I should have saved, put something under there. Well, we can see a little bit. On the Toyota, man. Uh huh. See that rubber piece? It's laying right here. It popped off. Look at that. There's been some water up inside of here. And I know I don't have any water in the tank because I've drained the whole tank out. I'll tell you what I'm going to do though, for fun. For fun, I want that laying in there. We're just going to go ahead and try to start it like that. It's a pretty good old engine. I had a I had a sticky valve in it. I pulled the head. I was going to record all that, and I didn't. I don't know why, but. <clears throat> Uh, I went ahead and lapped the valves in. It seems to be running all right now. Um, let's see so, anyway, so I'm waiting on that. But yeah, it was leaking, running down the side of the bowl. I do have another carburetor, like I said, but the uh, the throttle butterfly is jammed on it. It came that way, right out of the box. Huh. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and fire this up. Yeah, this, uh, why would that pop? I've never seen one do that. But also, yeah, see how sluggish that is? It wasn't clicking either. So we're going to put this new one on. And then we'll, you know, uh, once I can get a head, I'm just going to put a new head on it. And uh, we'll get it back together. I was going to work on the Corvette. I got that, uh, the number one, the uh, number one cylinder. Um, the fuel injector is uh, is leaking, leaking real bad to where I think it's not got enough pressure to make the other ones fire. As soon as you turn the key on, I mean, it's just squirting fuel out. So, in order to fix that, I have to take the uh, plenum off of it. I know a lot of guys call it the intake. It's not the intake manifold. The plenum bolts onto the intake manifold. The fuel injectors go into the intake manifold. The plenum goes over top of it. So that's why I got to take that apart. I was going to work on it yesterday, but it was supposed to rain. And it did, but it rained in the evening. So I could have done some work on it. But, you know, I may have to get fuel injectors for it. They're not that much. but and Then I'm kind of at a standstill on my John Deere. Because I gotta try to find some tires for it. I'd like to get something similar to what's on it. But man, they're so expensive. You know? Alright, well. on here
I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, great. Pull this carburetor off of here. There is some water coming out of that. Might have got it out because water will lay on the bottom. Could be condensation. We are here in Florida, you know, so. Cleared up. All right, now. You don't want to lose that thing. If you lose that and you put it together, it's going to surge on you. It's going to rev up and down and do all kinds of funny stuff. That don't look bad in there at all. So what I'm going to do, don't lose that pin either. I'm going to try to blow through it like this. And I can, I'm going to hold it like that. I'm not going to put any pressure on this thing. Just its own pressure, and I shouldn't be able to blow through it. And I can't. So, let's go ahead. We'll put our gasket on here. You know what? I don't think that's the right gasket. I think that's why that was leaking. Now, it might be. I don't think it was seated right. So, and of course, future of the channel. Like I said, I'm going to keep making videos, guys. Monkey's mom is out of rehab now. She's back home. I still say they need to get an attorney for that place she was in because... The doctor released her. He said, you can go home anytime you want. She said, okay, I'll go home Friday. This was last Friday. Well, Thursday rolls around. And she was telling the, uh, uh, I don't think she's a nurse. I think she's a caseworker or something like that. Social worker. And uh, she's telling her, she says, I'm going home tomorrow. She says, well, you can't go home tomorrow. The paperwork don't say until the 25th. She said, well, the doctor said I can leave anytime I want. She says, I'm going home tomorrow. That woman actually had the audacity to get on her ass. Now, Monkey wasn't there, or things would have been different, I'm sure. And said, uh, well, you go home tomorrow, just don't come back then. Well, you know what? She won't. And if she tells all them patients that, guess what? Who's going to pay her bills? Because she ain't going to have a job. And her mom was upset, Monkey was upset, and it's like, really, you're going to talk to people like that? You know, a 74-year-old woman. Well, you leave, don't come back. Well, they couldn't make her stay anyway. She wasn't there on doctor's orders. She actually wanted to go and, you know, get physical therapy on her leg. That's why it's called rehab. But the doctor said, you know, you can go, any, go home anytime you want. And she said, okay, I'll go home Friday. He said, that's fine. Huh. That is not... I may have to kick you guys off. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to get the other bowl I got. That's okay to let that drip for a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. The other bowl. Yeah, see how that one fits a lot better. So I think the other one probably shrunk. 
Sometimes they'll shrink, but see how well that one fits in there? That's why, it, that's why that was leaking, damn it. Who right. had to stick my hand under the mower deck. I don't like sticking my hands under things down here in Florida, you know what I mean? Too many things like to jump out and bite you. I don't know, man. It just, I don't like the way. See, I got a pretty good sized gap there. Ah, there is a little gap there. Okay. Let's try it. Let's put the new one on here. Now, if this is going to leak, it should leak by the time we get this buttoned up here. I'm, but I'm going to leave it for a minute. <clears throat> yeah, this old girl. <laughs> Everything works on it. Just starting to show its age, you know. Let me see here. I don't think this matters. Because it's just an electromagnet. hit that key and see if that thing clicks. Feels like it. Alright. So now... Ain't gonna work. Shea Bear, stop goofing off. Okay, I don't, I don't see any leaks yet. Then we'll try to start it. Put the battery on the charger. This battery's about shot. Well, it is shot. It won't start on its own no more. So I'm going to get Monkey a new battery for hers. Hers is still okay if you run it once a week. But if it sets two weeks, it's going dead. So I'll get her a new battery for hers. Use this one as a return and put hers in here. Let's make sure. Yep, choke's working. Now, I did pull the plug out and check it. Plug looks good. So let me get you on another angle here. I'll throw that plug in. Let's try to start it. Okay, guys, let's give this a shot.
probably got some gunk in there. I'm gonna put some fresh gas in it. We're gonna run it for a little bit. It won't idle either. It's the mixed fuel out of the boat. It won't hurt it, guys. Might smoke a little bit, but it's not gonna hurt it. Uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna need to use this to cut the grass because Monkey's got another spindle going out. It was making all kind of racket and then it got real quiet and I started smelling a belt last time we had it out. So, it's a sound, pretty good sign that that spindle's locking up. So, I'm just gonna get all three. It's cheaper. Whoa. I can get all three plus blades for less than a hundred bucks. to pop it into or kick the PTO on and it shut off all right let me get you back on the stand okay guys so I found out what the problem is not enough juice in the battery sucks all right i don't think i don't think the charging system's working i think it's only running on the battery okay well all right i had to push this down here 
and put it on the charger see what we can do I might take monkey's battery and put it in here but let's find out okay guys let's give it a shot there's the old battery that's when it was actually in here this is monkey's battery yeah there's a little story behind that but we're not getting into that right now okay let's try it it's charged See, I got the grass cut. If I showed you them blades, you wouldn't believe that <laughs> that grass was cut with these blades. But I got to change the oil and look where the oil drain is. <sighs> it always makes a mess. Jeez, this is stupid. Why do they do stuff like this, man? It's supposed to run down out of that hole right there. All right. I'm gonna do it while it's still a little warm. That way, it gets all of it. All right, guys, I'll be back with you. I'm gonna get a pan and put it under there. Okay, guys, so. Damn. <laughs> Yeah, it's running. It's not running good. I even uh, I got that butterfly freed up on the other carburetor. It even runs worse. So these carburetors are just junk. <clears throat> so I'll probably just rebuild the original one that came off of it. Um, problem with it was the um, needle valve and the float. It's got that little rubber tip on it, and there. And they get hard and brittle and it's letting fuel by so it was kind of flooding out so you know that's that um so when we went camping last time when we was down uh pots preserve area had a tick on me and uh so and didn't go away for like three weeks while i pulled you know as soon as i felt it i pulled it off of me because it was itching so 
about three weeks later I go to the doctor and they give me antibiotics they take these for 10 days two a day and I did and it's still still uh, still just as bad as it was and uh, so yesterday uh, she called the doctor for me well my doctor wasn't in so they had someone call me back and they said um, it could take two to three weeks just go ahead and take some Benadryl or put ice on it or something I'm like two to three weeks after the uh, after the antibiotics she said yeah after the antibiotics you know wait two to three weeks and then call us and I'm like if it goes better you know that three weeks would be six weeks how do we know it didn't go away on its own why does it take antibiotics two to three weeks that don't even make sense it could have went away on its own by then I don't know so anyway it's still itching I, it was right here and still itching like crazy so all right guys just thought I'd do a little vlogging with you mess around gonna go in make monkey supper and we'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching guys appreciate it Shea Bear with Myth Man and Legend I'm gone for now bye bye guys thanks for joining me on my vlog take care